so Democrats, including the progressives, okay, are fake and controlled opposition to Republicans. And I'm going to lay out exactly why. So fraud the, the fraud squad and Dems voted for Pelosi with a no opposition via vote, voice vote. Now, they have to go back and vote in January, um, but they all... She literally got zero opposition for this. We knew when we showed you a couple shows ago that Ilhan Omar and AOC changed their mind and they were, especially AOC, they were not going to oppose anything about Nancy Pelosi. Um, and like I said, in early January, they have to vote. Um, and Speaker Pelosi, who is 80, said, uh, said that she's not, may retire basically in uh, November of... Um, not November in 2022. And she sets she the agenda, retire. correct? She sets she, the agenda. She sets the agenda, right, fam? Yep. Jesus, ladies, progressives, so, um, where you at? Um, okay, so basically, yeah. So they all did a voice vote, and that's that. And um, they thought the the problem is that Democrats thought we're going to have more of a majority. They did not. And again, people are using that as an excuse to say that the uh, election wasn't rigged. But in actuality, they should have won both houses if with if joe biden won by that many votes can so. i ask you a question fam the voice vote is that not like so yeah you, we shouldn't what, have what, what, voice kind of, votes. I mean, what, I, I, what are you hiding from the voice vote again they did yeah. this with the cares act yep. so your progressives could hide and say well i didn't vote for that and there's no proof whatsoever right we got to listen to the right. the nays and the yays and yep. stuff like you got to put your ear there yeah i think i heard Al alexandria ocasio say nay is there any video can somebody no no right we need to uh, ban voice votes why, why do we have that? You no, know, so if you're a congressperson, hide. exactly. If you're a congressperson, you need to be on record. Accountable. We need to see a paper of how you voted. And that is something that, at the very least, the American people deserve. So, number one, against voice vote. Number two, there should have been at least a vocal giant opposition by the squad, by progressives against Nancy Pelosi. Instead, they're all falling in line, which, again, is my other point, is that there's no point in reforming the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party is beyond help. They have literally every single person in there, all the Cory Bushes, all these people that are coming in, they're going to go the same route, I can tell, by what they have on their profile. They don't have anything about foreign policy. They don't have anything about Julian Assange. They don't have anything regarding what's going on um, on election integrity. So I know where they're going to fall. They're going to be right in line with the squad in terms of that. And they're not going to get shit done. So that's that's the reality. I'm going to continue first. Uh, pasta. Yeah, I just want to say thank you, Aaron Sky. I'm going to let you go. My bad. Um, OK. And I'm not bad. Um, I took it away. You have it up there. OK. My bad. Um, so Cause this one makes me laugh. Biden. Yeah. So why should Biden? Uh, so the Democrats wrote this whole thing about why they need to not go after Trump and not prosecute Trump and why they want to pardon Trump. Right. But yes, they should. They should pardon Trump. They shouldn't go after him. But they're making it out to be like, oh, we have to be the better person. We have to be above them. We have to be. Uh, it's better for us as Democrats. So this is what they said. I'm just going to read a little bit of it so you guys can understand what I'm saying. They said Trump would, of course, be one of the least deserving recipients of a federal pardon in history. His pardon could not be justified based on his innocence or his contribution because Trump is not contrite. To the contrary, he is currently endangering our democratic process by relentlessly undermining the legitimacy of Biden's election and thwarting a peaceful transition. No wonder Biden's initial instinct was to oppose granting Trump a pardon. He actually foreclosed this option by pledging last May that if elected, he would not pardon Trump, but that doesn't mean that there aren't a few good reasons to consider it anyway. Trump's acceptance of a pardon under the 1915 Supreme Court opinion in Burdick versus the United States is an admission that he was guilty of the crimes for which he has been pardoned. Pardoning him may be the only way that Trump even implicitly concedes he did anything wrong. So they're pretty much going off and saying that oh, Trump geez. shouldn't, Trump doesn't deserve to be pardoned. But at the same time, they're saying that that he, you know, that they should pardon him because they want to be above it. And even though Trump doesn't deserve it, it would be better. And this is the only way to admit that he's guilty. They're using this once again, this rhetoric of emotions and, and platitudes to appeal to people to say, oh, the Democrats, we're going to be better. The reason they're not going to go after Trump is not because of any of this shit. It's because they would have to go after themselves. They would have to go after literally the vast majority of presidents, both Democratic and Republican, that came before Donald Trump. They would implicate so many other people also in um, both parties in power, and they don't want to do that. That's why they're not going to go after Trump. They, it's so they, they, funny. That's why. This is don't funny. don't fall for this bullshit. This is this is like some neoliberal dribble over here. They, they, that's the only reason that they're not going to go after Trump. They would have to literally go after 
everybody else. Trump, comparatively to George Bush, are you kidding me? George Bush should be at the head. You should be. You should be in prison as a war criminal. So should Hillary Clinton. So, so should, should Biden. all these people. So should Barack so should Obama. Obama. He got a Nobel Peace Prize for crying out loud. Yeah. So if you want to put Trump away, by all means, yeah. go away. Put everybody else also away. And that's not what they're willing to do because they don't want the truth. They don't want transparency. They simply want the people to believe that they're above it morally it's that same attitude that's yeah. like oh well, i voted for joe biden because i, I it's he's just a moral thing i care about the kids in cages as joe biden it's putting somebody that was part of the administration uh, the administration that deported more people more immigrants than anybody else let's be real here this is bullshit and this is why i'm so angry at, at an article like this not because i don't I, I don't think i think trump shouldn't they shouldn't go after trump because they would have to go after everybody else i think this is stupid yeah, what are they gonna this go after stupid. trump on fam what are they saying uh the the ukraine gate shit what what, what, what are you going to put him in jail the, for they stuff? use the election want, yeah. shit right oh, now oh the election oh, that's what it is you should pardon him i the mean this democracy this, this is of such, our elections seriously this is so hypocritical what democracy yeah what democracy? We don't have democracy yeah. in our elections. We don't have democracy, period. Yes. In this country, we do not choose president. We select them. They select them. You don't elect them. They select them. They select a bunch of people. This is why you have people in power who don't want Medicare for all, while the vast majority of the population does want that. Yeah. Oh, and it's so hypocritical, this article right here. This is such a hypocritical mentality that lacks nuance. Oh, we should pardon him and stuff. Well, what are you going to go after him? The emoluments clause? Well, what about Nancy Pelosi, uh, Gavin Newsom, Chuck Schumer, Adam right. Schiff? All right. these people would go to jail on the emoluments clause, clause as well because they were carpetbagging in the Ukraine where there was also, once again, I think, yep. war crimes committed by Joe Biden. I mean, where, where are you? And just, people just put this out there. I saw one of our friends, Trump for prison 2020, while he's backing Joe Biden. I mean, you know how stupid you sound? Do you know how stupid you fucking look? Trump Sorry for, for cursing. Both of them. Then. Oh my you, god! If you're gonna, if you're gonna put Trump in prison, why the hell is Joe Biden yeah. our president? And why did you vote for him? But Joe, Seriously. But Trump has been in office for four freaking years. You're talking about Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Biden, it's, Obama, Clintons. They've had years. It's this idea that these people believe at their crimes. core, pasta. They believe at their core that the Democrats are better, and wow. that's the problem. That's the problem. At your core, you still believe that the Democrats are better, and they're not. They're yeah. trash. Both parties are two sides of the same freaking coin. The only lines that are drawn here are the people versus the establishment. Period.